What's going on everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the vehicle tour of Drone Inspections 2020 COVID-19 Corona Disease Edition. <laughs> so, I promised you before that I'll take you through the vehicle and I will. 2016 Ford Ranger Wild Track. We're running on the two antennas, the two HF antennas. I don't know why, you could probably just use one, but came with the vehicle, so whatever. We're running all terrains, BFG tires, nice and thick, alloys. And this way, I've got an ARB full bar system, front and rear. In the vehicle, nothing really much, like different that's set up here, but we've kind of just got holders and whatnot. Um, two cameras for our dash cam at the front and the back. This little middle console here for our UHF uh, and storage in here. We have a magnetic uh, clip here that goes into uh, the CD player here so we can have our iPad and normal phone attached here. UHF, um, here's my laptop. That's not a vehicle, so I'll skip over that. In the back, so there's two of us in the operation. We're both pilots, uh, which helps. I'll tell you why in a second. In the back, we've kind of got our fragile stuff, minus all the um, jackets and whatnot. So in here, there's one soft bag with um, SLRs, um, bits and pieces, little squeegees. Can you even see? Yep. All right. <laughs> um, other bits and pieces. Another small camera bag with another Sony in there. This is the mother load. Whole bunch of TB50 inspired to Matrice 210 batteries. Two spots here for a TB55, which is the larger battery, which gives you a bit more flight time. Down here is my lunchbox. All right, keep going. So the setup is a canopy, ARB uh, accent, ascent canopy at the back, um, which works well all our drones and everything here come with us here so there's a bit of compliance and whatnot this is very important for for this time of the year or this year we've got uh a, is that a 2.5 2.5 kilo uh fire extinguisher which we need we've got the two matrice 210 uh drones this is the rtk version which is super accurate and only this drone can get very close to the high voltage power line which is behind me here 500 kilovolts don't try and do this at home unless you have one of these a mavic 2 a phantom 4 will spin around and drop to its death trust me we've seen it before it hasn't happened to us but it has this is the other version which is the m210 standard so you can tell there's no two gps units at the top it's just this single here this we are using two drones Per tower. Now we started off doing one drone and it took us about two to three hours for one tower, way too long. But then we switched over to the two ops, that's why there's two pilots on this, and each of us can do one whole tower, full inspections, in 50 minutes so far. Now this is our second day, third day doing it, so I think we're gonna get a lot quicker as we go along. We've got a really good process in place, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the vehicle, isn't it? All right, two drawer systems by ARB to store all our goodies in here. First aid kit, which we need. There's recover, recovery gear at the back, some spare props, a tripod for the RTK system. This is the second, the RTK base station. So this goes on the tripod, Yonk, right here, and it sits out there somewhere. GPS goes into here, goes into there, and then it works out the exact position of where that drone needs to be. Very, very accurate. That's why you need this for high voltage work. The other drawer, oh, signage, which we don't really use out here. This will just get blown off anyway. Other straps and bits and pieces. We have our two Sendence remote controllers, one for each drone, or if you're doing one, you can have one camera and one pilot. These have the Crystal Sky monitor, which is super, super bright. Great for these conditions, but the drawback is it takes one battery for here and another battery for that. So battery management 
is one of the biggest issues out here. That was like that. Second, put the rope back in. Ah, oh, we've also got these bad boys here, which are called the Sino Bluetooth systems. Bluetooth earpieces. They go on like so. They just look so gangster. But at the same time, these are the best things we've ever bought for this operation. It cost us 250, 250 bucks. This is the shit. It is so good. We could pretty much be on the other tower there, and another person here, and you can still be in range. It is really good. The only crappy thing is it kind of cuts into your ears and it really hurts, so we're gonna have to tape it up, do a bit of a MacGyver on us. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, but we've got a 4G Telstra uh, internet thingy, modem, router, whatever it is. So there's a SIM card in there giving us constant internet. Come around here. Get up here. So here is the charging station for all our batteries that you saw before. One set, two set, three set, four sets at a time, charging at the same time, not like the standard charger which goes which charges one battery then switches over to the next battery. This charges four sets at the same time, super fast up to 90% in 30 minutes. Then the last 10% takes a little bit longer, but the fact that you can get four sets charging at once is the best. And then you also have extra charging port ports up here for USB, and these two go into the little uh, Sendence remote controller, uh, sorry, Sendence battery here, uh, and the Crystal Sky batteries, the little ones. Can't remember what they're called. Oh, also check out this. In the back here, we've got an articulated arm, and this is an external TV that plugs into one of the monitors. So if your client is here on site with you and they want to see the, the, the images or the videos, they want to review it, then you can pretty much angle it here. You can have your canopy, or not your canopy, you can have your awning out or whatever. So you're all in the shade, you can view it here, you can view it that way and you can view it the other way. It's a really good idea. Up the top, we have a shovel. Oh, another drone, Mavic 2 Enterprise. So we brought this along, which is another drone. This is kind of like a redundant drone. Obviously this won't be, we won't use this little one for the inspections. We use this for the easement shots. So one of the requirements is right at the very, very top, shoot all the way down the line, all the way down the other side, just to see if there's anything in the way or any buildings that's kind of popped up here and there. Uh, so we use that. Reason for that is we just save the batteries on those. Uh, another soft bag in here has another other bits and pieces. We have a jump starter here for our main battery and the main car, just in case. I don't know if you can see that. Another lunchbox. All right, battery management. Actually, I got to tell you about battery management. So we're charging a lot of shit on the go, always charging, and we're having a few issues with it at the moment. So. Stay tuned and I'll <laughs> let you know what the solution is. So in the back here, coming back here, underneath here, we have two car batteries. They eight, they are, just stick the phone right in there if you can see, two AGM batteries. And these, there's one here and there's one there. And they run in parallel, so they draw down at the same time and charge up at the same time. And they are, 120 amps each, right? And they all come out here to this uh, 240, two, oh, obviously there's an inverter as well, but they come out to 240 volts. So everything that we're charging comes out of here. Now we're having some issues because we have a charger overnight. So this car, these two batteries charge overnight with our battery charger, which is only, how many amps? 120 amps, no, 12 amps. <laughs> 12 amps and it's just gonna take it's taking us way too long for these batteries these batteries to go up to 100 100 percent we're drawing so much power from these tp50s but these batteries are kind of struggling so um yeah i'm not sure what else to say because it's, uh, we're still kind of figuring that out but <laughs> we just need to work out a better a bit of battery system to use um, for this we do have a solar panel on the roof but that only works when the car is off, which is a bit pointless. And that's only four amps. So 
really, really slow. I mean, yeah, I don't even know why it's there, really. When your car is constantly on, that's when you kind of get it to charge. It's, it's faster charge when your car's on. Yes, you're burning some diesel, which sucks. No other way to charge these batteries fast enough. The other option we were thinking was getting a generator, like a little petrol generator, those little Honda things, and then you just draw 240 volts out of that real quick to charge. Um, the other option is to buy more batteries, which is going to cost a few thousand dollars. But otherwise, yeah. If you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. What have I forgotten? Is that it? That's it. Safety gear. Ah, oh, you gotta have boots. You gotta have pads. You gotta have long sleeve, long shirt. It's gonna be high beers, all that kind of jazz. Hard hat. Safety glasses. Now with the Corona, we need one of these guys as well. We don't get it off each other, but I think if one of us have got the virus, I'm pretty sure we both have it by now. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the whole vehicle. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.